everybody. I'm gonna wait a second and just give Facebook a chance to um, catch up. Sometimes it takes a minute. Okay, so get your water, good water. And um, hopefully, I don't know, let's see, it's different times all across the country, but if you're here with me, maybe you're listening while, um, while you are making lunch or preparing lunch or something like that. Hey, Alyssa, hi, Tina. Thanks for jumping on, you guys. I appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. We've got our uh, some insiders in the group already. Thank you so much. So um, today is day one. Um, hey, Heather. Good. I'm glad you jumped on. Cool. Um, please, if you jump on, uh, please say hi. If you're watching the replay, please say hi as well. Um, it, it helps me to see how many people are, are seeing this. Hi, Katie. Awesome. It's good. Please say hi. I love it. Um, it's just kind of good to know who I'm talking to, if I know you, or if it's people I, I haven't met before. So um, please, and feel free to ask questions at any time. Um, I'm the type of uh, presenter, I'm not a great presenter, guys. Um, not a professional presenter here, never had a job where I had to, I just taught group exercise classes, I, I guess. That was my presenting for 20 years. But um, um, what I was gonna say is please ask questions. I may try to wait until the end to answer any questions and if it's if they're detailed you are better off if I get off the live and answer your questions in the comments because I tend to go on and on and on ask my family and most of you guys who are on here know that so my goal and I've lost my watch I, I, I uh, my watch for my wrist um, I, I'm still old school Timex watch and it, uh, the battery ran out, and so I bought this new watch that I don't like, and I was gonna put it right here, and I can't find it now. So my goal is not to take up a lot of your time. Today, I have two action steps, okay? So it's not a long list. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, really get started. Um, hey, Kathleen, how are you? How are you? Cool. If anyone else wants to say hi, I'm, otherwise I'm gonna get started. So um, I think, I think most everyone who's at least on here live knows me, but quick intro, my name is Kim Maxwell. I have been in the fitness and health industry for a long time. Um, not afraid to say my age, I am 46. I have been doing this since my undergrad in college. I've been some type of health or uh, fitness, okay? Um, so I've been everything from a fitness director at a big health club, personal trainer the entire time. I've always been a personal trainer. Um, group X instructor, my degrees, I have an undergrad and a graduate degree in exercise physiology. I am passionate about how the body works, okay? Now, school was a long, long time ago, so I'm not as scientific as I used to be, nor do I want to because I want to be able to relate to you. A couple years ago, and Kathleen was a classmate of mine, um, we, uh, we are now called functional, nu functional Nutritional Therapy Practitioners. And um, that is, I like to keep it really simple and say, it's very in depth to be honest with you, but the simple thing is, uh, let's use food as medicine. Let's use it as a first line of defense. Let's try cleaning up your food before you jump into pharmaceuticals. Um, you know, that kind of attitude, that is uh, kind of the attitude I take, but this nutritional therapy program that I went through has helped me understand food and just food and how the body works related to food so much better. So to jump into my presentation and jump into this five days, I don't love to label things as fat loss because it's so much more than fat loss, okay? It's, it's a lifestyle. Health is a lifestyle. Body change is part of a lifestyle. So yes, I'm using fat loss in the title of this series and I love to talk about fat loss and body change, but I just wanna be very clear that this isn't what I'm. This isn't what I'm about. Fat loss and body change come as a result of these lifestyle changes that I want to teach you. That I want to help you understand. Okay, January is the time when we're all thinking about body change, so it is a really good time to hit the fat loss idea. Okay, but 
I don't just teach that. And I'm also going to tell you in this little lecture here the difference between fat loss and weight loss. It's a big difference in my mind. And um, that, that's the whole game changer, to be honest with you. And that's gonna help catapult you in living this healthy lifestyle. And I also wanna make sure you realize, very true, health, there's no destination to health. It's a constant, it's constant work. There is no destination. So if you work with me, you're in it for the long haul, okay? Now, you don't have to be paying me money for the long haul, but I want you to understand that this kind of lifestyle is for the long haul. It's, and it is a lifestyle that you can maintain, sustain, that's important. That's so important. If you can't sustain it, guys, it's not worth your money. It's messing you up. It's messing up your mental, you know, just, just your mental, um, I can't think of the word, but you know what I mean. It's just messing you up in the brain. <laughs> I cannot think of the word. I hate it when I do that. And it's also messing up just hormones, metabolism, and all of that. Okay, so today we're gonna kick this off with um, um, two foundations. There's, there's a couple more, but really I, I believe these two foundations are imperative. They are so necessary to achieving uh, sustained fat loss or just body change and keeping it off. That's the thing, guys, keeping it off. It's pretty easy. It, we can lose some weight pretty easily but that's not how we, our culture <laughs> has learned how to, it's like up and down roller coasters, right? We are, um, we've got to get away from that. It's creating craziness, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start with action step number one. Action step number one is to learn the basics of nutrition. You ha learn or understand is a better word. Understand the basics of nutrition. So many of us, I believe, think it's black and white. It's all or nothing. And I think a lot of the diet programs have taught us that way. Like if you can't follow this program, this calorie restricted program and all this exercise, then there's nothing else you can do. You can't lose weight. You know, it's very black and white. When really nutrition is so nuanced, it's such a gray area for all of us because guess what? We're all different. We are all bio individuals. What works for you won't work for me. What works for your neighbor probably won't work for you. What works for your husband or your uh, brother probably won't, well, we know that, right? Probably won't work for you, especially if most women are watching this. It's not very different there, right? That's not fair sometimes. So they've, they've got different hormones and that's what I wanted to say. Hormonally, I want to teach you, I want you to understand the basis, basics of nutrition, but the basics of hormones that are related to fat loss and leading a healthy lifestyle. Okay, hormones. There is a difference between weight loss and fat loss. I teach fat loss. Not in the past. I taught weight loss because I didn't understand. I didn't take the time to understand. Weight loss is calorie restriction. Usually it's calorie restriction. It doesn't have anything to do with like the quality of your food. It's just, you know, deprive yourself, white knuckle it, and exercise as much as you can. And hey, try to do that for a month or two until you get to your goal weight. Come on, if you can't do it, you don't have enough willpower. You know, oh my gosh, you guys, we keep doing that. It's like a roller coaster. We keep trying, hoping this time, this person, I'm gonna give my money to this fancy machine of, of company that has all these beautiful graphics. This time I hope it works, this time. You guys, the answers are inside of you, not that. You have to figure yourself out, and guess what? That's action step number two, but let me finish on <laughs> the basics of nutrition, uh, understanding hormonal fat loss, understanding what hormones go into it. There's a difference between weight loss and fat loss. So weight, weight loss, calorie restriction, uh, exercise more, eat less does not work. It causes crazy, and it causes you to lose muscle mass because your body is deprived and it's pulling from wherever it can to get energy. So it's breaking down your muscle. Well, guess what you're doing then? You are causing, you're causing your metabolism, your fire, that engine that helps you burn calories. You're causing that to go down, be less efficient. 
And that's why you can lose weight. You can lose weight that way. You, you can't sustain it. You can lose weight that way, but a lot of times you're not that athletic toned self that maybe you were hoping to be because you're losing muscle. That is the difference. So fat loss, what I teach, what I am passionate about is learning the hormones that are involved. There is a, you, to lose fat, yes, we have to have a little calorie restriction. However, by just cleaning up what you're eating, just cleaning it up and maybe cutting out a snack or replacing a snack, that's gonna help you get into a calorie deficit. Just not, not some huge, like you're going from 2,000 calories to 1,200 calories, that never works. So I wanna teach you how to just build a better plate, centered around protein, build a better plate that's going to help, um, help your body know what to do, to do better things with that food. The quality of the food matters, all right? So um, I'm getting off track here. Let me, let me get myself back on track here. So food, fat loss, we're, yes, we need a little bit of a calorie deficit, but just cleaning up the food is gonna help. You need to get your stress under control. You need to learn the right amount of exercise for you. Not for me, for you. How, and then back to stress. How much stress can you handle before you, you just dive? You know, stress, sleep is the other one. So food, this all has to do with fat loss. This is the type of fat loss and body change, sustainable fat loss and body change that I teach. It has four factors for sure. There's more, but it is the food that you eat, and I'm not talking deprivation. We're centered around protein and it is delicious and you won't feel deprived. We're talking exercise. You've got to move your body. You've got to be willing. If you have body change goals, serious body change goals, especially as you get older, we have to lift weights, guys. It doesn't have to be some crazy program. You can do it from your own house. You just have to do it. So, but I'm going to talk, this is all the stuff that I'm going to dive deeper in, in um, in the Fresh Start program in January. So exercise then, we're gonna talk a lot about stress management and a lot about sleep. Those have so much to do with how successful you are. We've gotta find some kind of balance for you. You have to do you the best you can. I'm gonna help guide you in this program. But those four factors are uh, what we're gonna really dive in. Now here, listen to this, and you might've been here. You can eat really clean, not, deep, not depriving, just really clean, great proteins, healthy uh, uh, quality meats, and eating lots of vegetables, drinking lots of water, and exercising just the right amount for you, but your anxiety is through the roof, your stress is through the roof, and you aren't sleeping. You will not see change. You will not, now, you're, you're helping yourself, but you're not going to see easy change. You're probably gonna hit some roadblocks. So, we're gonna work on all of that. I'm gonna give you the blueprint. I'm gonna give you the blueprint, but you have to do a lot of work. Now, the one other thing I wanna talk about when it comes to learning, this is action step number one, learning. Um, I think this is a foundation that you absolutely have to understand is the basics of nutrition and hormones. Okay, this is the topic we're on, but you also have to understand food. I have found, and on the World Wide Web blogs, man, um, there are foods that are so confusing. Is it a protein? Is it not a protein? Is it a carbohydrate? Is it not a carbohydrate? I wanna teach you how to read labels. Teach you how to read labels, you guys. Okay, I got an example here, quinoa. Do you, immediately do you think, what do you think? Do you think protein, carbohydrate? A lot of people think protein. Yes, there's protein in quinoa. This is from Costco. Have you read the label, guys? It's a carbohydrate. Yes, there's, there's a nice amount, there's some fiber in there, which is great, we need fiber. So I am not vilifying, food is information for your body. It is not good or bad. We're not gonna vilify food here. It is information for your body. Your body's gonna take that information and either decide, oh, I'm gonna burn this, or I'm gonna store it. Of course, you want to choose more of the burning when you can, but you also have to understand what the food is. A lot of people think, I can just fill up on quinoa, this is protein, no. Guys, this is a lot more carbohydrate than protein. It's not a bad food, 
but you can't have copious amounts of quinoa and expect to have body change. Okay, lentils, lentils. I hope you know beans are carbohydrates. A lot of people think protein, protein, protein. They're great for protein and fiber, but they're predominantly carbohydrates. And as we get older women, because of our hormonal changes, we need less carbohydrates, which is such a bummer. <laughs> such a bummer. We have to watch the bean intake. They are carbohydrates, okay? They're not bad. We just have to moderate them more. Don't think of them as protein. You gotta think of them as carbo. It's confusing. Peanut butter, peanut butter, Costco peanut butter. This isn't a protein, you guys. This is a fat. Look at the label. It's right there. This is a fat. Don't look, when you see things on the web, make sure that you're really, don't believe everything you read, okay? It can get so confusing. I wanna help lessen that confusion so you know the information you're giving your body. Um, you know, you guys are smart enough. Okay, <laughs> yes, we eat Oreos in our house. These are the most favorite thing in the entire world. <laughs> I actually do not eat them, but my son does. And, and we have uh, Oreo shake night one time a week. Yeah, I don't, I can't, unfortunately. It's the saddest thing ever, but um, okay, come on. We know what we should choose, right? But neither of these are bad. Neither of these are bad. It's information for your body. And you know, you know what is gonna be better information for you, right? Totally, sweet potato, yeah, much better information than this. So lots of stuff that we're gonna talk about, but this is a foundation that you need to understand and that's the foundation I wanna help you, um, help teach you in this program, okay? And how do I teach you this? Just a real quick side note. Um, when you sign up for Fresh Start, and I'm gonna talk about Fresh Start towards the end of the week when registration is gonna open like Thursday or Friday. I'm working on the registration page. It's giving me issues, which I hate, but um, I'm not a techie person whatsoever, but I have videos that will drop each week for you to watch. Um, and like uh, they're, they're recorded Zoom, um, like webinars almost, and you watch them at your own time. And then we talk about it every day on the Facebook page, on our uh, private Facebook page. And you also get a pro program guide that has description of all of this too, okay? Okay, so number two, and there's only two today, you guys. Number two, this is a big one, you guys. This is a big one. How to um, make lifestyle changes stick, the foundations you need to make lifestyle changes stick, to know yourself to invest in learning what works and doesn't work for you. Don't let me or any other person tell you how you should eat. We are not you. We are not experts in you. We don't have your metabolism. We don't know your life. We don't know what's going on in other aspects because there's so much going into sustainable fat loss and body change. It's not just calories in, calories out. We're not calculators, right? There's so much more going in. You know you, but are you spending time really understanding what works for you and what doesn't? If you can't do the work to understand you and take action on it, you're not gonna see sustainable body change. You're just not, because you're not listening to your gut instincts. Women have such amazing gut instincts, right? So we really, 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 need to go inward a little bit more and listen to our bodies when we are eating. What foods work for me? What foods don't work for me? How much protein do I need? How much protein does sustain me until the next meal? If you're snacking all day, you're not eating enough protein. And those are the things that I'm gonna help you figure out, but you've got to listen to your body. You've got to figure that stuff out. I can help you. But what I guess I'm saying is it takes work. I can't do the work for you. By hiring me, by joining this program, uh, I'm giving you the blueprint. You have to then find the time. You have to prioritize the time to do the work, to do the meal prep, to really pay attention to what is working and what isn't. How many carbohydrates, do I do better on carbohydrates or do I do better with less carbohydrates? My mentor uh, is as active as I am. I'm very active, you guys. Less intense these days, but I'm very active. I absolutely have to have carbohydrates. I have to choose the right ones. 
but I, I cannot go low carbohydrate. I tried keto, I gained weight and I did it. It was so frustrating. Um, did not work for me. I was miserable as well. Didn't like how I felt. I had no energy. Where other people report all this energy. My mentor does so well that way. Has all the energy in the world. But that doesn't make keto bad. You know, any of these things we can make right work for the right person. I, that's not the right person. I need carbohydrates. But as I get older, I need to watch how many carbohydrates. I can already tell things are changing. And even as active as I am, you still lose some muscle mass as you age. I have to be more and more careful. We get more sensitive to carbohydrates as we age and get closer to menopause. So, like, dive into you. <laughs> I don't even know, you, you're gonna have to. This is a foundation that is necessary. That is necessary. One of my thoughts on this is to start journaling your food. And I'm gonna teach you um, um, an acronym called HEC. And you'll hear me say, is your HEC in check? That is hunger, energy, and cravings. After your meals, you kind of like, like rate your HEC. Is your HEC in check? If it's not like an hour to two hours after your meal, you know that meal did not work for you. And it's difficult with us women because of our cycles and our hormonal craziness. So it's work, you guys. I can't, there's no other way. Nothing in the past. I mean, look at America right now. Look at the world as the world is becoming like more Americanized with food. The obesity rates keep going up. We're not doing this foundational work to understand. We're relying on other people to tell us what to do. No more. It doesn't work. It obviously does not work. You have to be, you are an expert in yourself, but you've just got to listen. Got to listen to yourself. Listen to the cues your body is giving you. Because I promise you, if a food doesn't work for you, it's telling you, no matter how good that food is. Oh my gosh, this is like my favorite thing in the world. I can't do it. It hurts. Why would I keep eating it? Plus, I'm not going to go into it, but that can lead to a whole other whole stuff of issues. You, you do not want to cause, this causes inflammation in my body. No matter how good it is, it's very short-lived, right? It causes inflammation in my body. Inflammation is the underlying, uh, this is my nutritional therapist coming out here. Inflammation is the underlying cause, root cause of like most diseases, if not all diseases. We want to eat so we decrease inflammation. Those anti-inflammatory diets, I'm not a, I, I am a fan of, I am a fan of. Eating the way I want to teach you to eat by filling your plate with protein and veggies and some carbohydrates is an anti-inflammatory diet. I don't, you don't need to, even, I hate the word diet, but you know what I mean? We've got to start um, adopting that, that idea, that idea, but journaling what you're eating could be very, very helpful. Not forever, maybe for the challenge, if you're going to do the fresh start. I can't decide if I'm gonna call it a challenge or a program. Um, I know some people really like the word challenge, but I, I so wanna just, I want you to think of the Fresh Start as a fresh education on all of this stuff. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a challenge because I want you to really double down in January if you wanna do this program. So, oh, last thing with um, learning yourself. Again, I wanna remind you, this is a great analogy. I'm giving you the blueprint. Like, let's, let's use the analogy of a house. I'm giving you, I'm gonna help you with the foundation, what you need to know to, to pour a really good foundation and maybe put the bones of the house up, the walls of the house up, right? I'm gonna help guide you with that, with the information that you need to understand and know, but it's up to you to customize your house. What are the fixtures that you're gonna choose? What are the, the paint on the walls? How? What foods are you going to choose that work for you? Um, what kind of exercise? You know, those are the things you need to customize the program for yourself. I can help, but I can't completely customize it for you. I'm just not you. My goal is for you to do you the best you can and to understand yourself the best you can. All right, so those two, uh, two foundations that are necessary understanding the science of nutrition, basics, and hormones. Got to get that clear. 
understanding the why is such a powerful like light bulb moment, right? Hormones play so much into this, you guys. You have to learn some more about hormones. And number two, really learning and understanding yourself. Okay, so let me see if I had anything, any questions, type them up. I wanna make sure I have a look, couple notes written right here. Sometimes I get so excited. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so this is five days, right? Uh, tomorrow we're gonna talk about consistency. Um, when it comes to consistency, I think this is one of the number one obstacles. You guys, this is kind of a foundation. <laughs> consistency. Um, if you don't have consistency, right? You're not, because remember what I said, health is a journey. There's no destination. So we've got to have consistency to see this change. And it's not just short-lived. It's the long game. How can we become more consistent? So that is our topic tomorrow. That is a huge topic. And I just want to give you a couple ideas that I think might be stopping you from being more consistent. You're all different. I don't, maybe I won't hit it for you exactly, but it's a start. It's a start and we can talk about it more uh, inside the program. Okay, so tomorrow, right here, same time, we're going to talk about that. I also want to tell you that, um, oh, I had a request from someone to, um, they're not on Facebook, and how they can get these videos if they're not on Facebook. So I am going to now eat my lunch and then look at me, I'm all red. I get so passionate about this. <laughs> um, I am going to eat my lunch and then I'm gonna go record, uh, hopefully now that I've practiced this, hopefully I can record a shorter video, but I am gonna create five um, videos um, that I can send out to people with links if they're not on Facebook. Okay, so I'll probably post them. I don't know how I'll do it, but I just wanna let you know that's another medium, but it'll be a day uh, a day late, so to speak. Okay, I think how I'll do it. We'll see. I just got this email request just a couple minutes ago. But here's the thing, you guys. Um, this is all doable. You gotta believe and trust in yourself. That's a big part of this, right? And I think if you've done a lot of diet programs in the past and you have not been successful, you might have lost a little trust in yourself, belief in yourself. We got to turn that around. You are capable of anything. You just have to um, do it anyway. This is one of our big things in, in my membership in the Insiders. We've got a, hi, Christina. I saw, a, let's see, Amy, Brianne, Allison, awesome. You, the other people might have gone up, but um, successful people. This was so powerful for me when I learned this. Successful people don't always want to do this stuff. They don't always want to, like in business or people who have lost weight, they don't always want to eat the salad. I don't always want to eat the salad. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> um, um, I do. I'm going to teach you how I feel like we just have to eat a little less of all these foods, but nothing's good or bad. Okay. Um, but successful people in whatever area they're successful in, they don't always want to do the work, but they do it anyway. So I want for 2021, gosh, that's so weird to say. I want this to be the last year, the last time I mean that, you have to do a diet program that you have to even lose weight because you're going to finally fit like that light bulb moment. Oh my gosh, I finally figured it out. I don't have to deprive myself. I mean, you have to clean it up, but I don't have to deprive myself or restrict calories. I don't have to exercise a million hours. In fact, most of us exercise too much and add too much stress to our lives. So I'm, you're going to learn all about that. Um, you getting these four lifestyle factors somewhat balanced, you're going to realize it is, it is something that you can do. And you just have to trust yourself. Trust yourself that you can make small steps every day to gaining this. It took me a couple years. It doesn't happen overnight. It's going to take a while, but 2021 can be your year of uh, small steps every day towards this kind of lifestyle. And remember, it never ends. There's no destination. You're going to keep working at it. We're going to play the long game. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, I'm going to jump off because of course, I don't, I don't even know what time it is. It doesn't say on my phone, but, um, if you have questions, please put them in the comments so other people can see my answers. Um, otherwise, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, uh, right here at the same time. And we're going to talk about my, my thoughts on consistency. All right. How you can be more consistent. All right, take care guys. Thanks so much for, be, for giving me part of your day. Take care, have a great day, bye-bye.